Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make red bit escape in game solid. If you guys don't know what it is, basically you are this block and you're trying to dodge four other blocks that are bouncing off of walls and getting increasingly harder. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to focus on the main gameplay. We're not going to make the blocks increasingly harder or the score. But uh, if you guys want, make sure to hit that like button down below and I'll be sure to make an extension video on how to do those things. Uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so to get started, I just went ahead and opened up Game Solid. I created a new blank project and I'm just going to call the title Red Bit. I'm going to change the platform to iPhone Portrait. And now let's go into our initial scene. So let's create an actor. We will, this will be our main person. So I'm just going to call him Person. Our enemy. Another one called the wall, the inner wall. Inner wall. The outer wall. And that should be it. We will add on to this in just a minute, but anyway, uh, let's go into our enemy, change the color to a red color, go back, go into our inner wall, and change the color to a blue color. Go to our person, change the color to a blue color as well. And for our outer wall, we want to change the color to an, a red color. Alright, now let's go, uh, go to our uh, inner wall. And down in the physics sen section, we want to uncheck movable. Now let's go into our outer wall and do the same. Okay, now let's go back. Now copy and paste the inner wall four times. We will make the first one inner wall left, inner wall right, inner wall top, and inner wall bottom. Now for uh, copy and paste our outer wall four times as well and do the same. So outer wall left, right, top, top, okay, and bottom. Okay, now let's go into our person. I'm sorry, let's go into our inner wall left, change the size to a width of 5 and a height of 200. Now let's go back, change our inner wall right and do the same. 5, 200, and now let's click on our inner wall top and change the width to 200 and the height to 5, and do the same for our bottom wall, so 200, 5. Now let's go back, and now let's do our outer wall. So change the size of the outer wall to a width of th of 5 and a height of 300. Go to our right outer wall. Do the same, 5 by 300. Now do the top wall, and we will make the width f 300 and a height of 5. Just making sure I made it right. Okay. Now let's go into our outer wall bottom and do the same. So a width of 300 and a height of 5. All right. So now let's click and drag our inner wall left and our outer wall left. I'm just going to do the inner wall first. Now for tutorials purposes, I'm just going to do a quick box, but of course you want to position it properly when you're actually making your actual game. But this will work for the tutorial. 
Okay. Now let's go to our enemy. And we want to add a change velocity, uh, add a timer. And inside of that timer, we want to say change velocity. And instead of every five seconds, say four, one second, change velocity. And we will make this our first actor, which will be in the top right corner. So we want him to go up by, um, we'll just say a, a 90 degree, oh, sorry, not a 90, 150 degree angle at a speed of 150. Okay. Now add a collision behavior. So bounce when colliding with actor of type inner outer wall left, since this is the enemy. And just copy and paste that four times. And instead of our outer wall left, do the re do the rest of the outer walls. Okay. Now add a rule that says if the actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type outer wall left, we want to change the velocity. Just copy and pasting for tutorial sake. This will be the outer wall left, so we want him to bounce at a 320 degree angle. Okay, now copy and paste that. And instead of outer wall left, change it to outer wall right and make the direction a 130 degree angle. Okay, now copy and paste that rule. And instead of 120, actually, let's change that to 100. And, and instead of 130, change that to 120. Okay, now let's go to our rule that we just copied and pasted and instead of outer wall left change that to outer wall top and we want to make the direction that it change the direction it goes after it hits the wall to uh, about a 220 degree angle and copy and paste that again final time and we want to say outer wall bottom instead of outer wall top and the direction will be a 45 degree angle. Okay, now select all of the behaviors that we just created, copy those, and now I just realized I didn't create the enemies that we were supposed to, so uh, we will go back to we will get back to copy and pasting all those behaviors in just a minute. But our first enemy will be enemy one, enemy two, enemy three, and enemy four. Now let's go to our enemy one. And again, copy all of the behaviors that we selected. Okay, copy, and paste them into actor 2. And I just realized, actually, since I copied and pasted the enemy, we don't need to worry about that anymore. So um, let's go into our enemy 2. And instead of the, velo the velocity at 150 degrees, we, this will be in the top left corner. So we want it to, to go at about a 220 degree angle. Now go to enemy 3. And instead of a 150 degree angle, we want to make this a 320 degree angle about. And in enemy four, we want to change the direction. Since this is in the bottom right, we want to make this a 45 degree angle as it goes up. OK. Now go to enemy one. And we also want to change the size on all of the enemies that we created. So change the width to 40 and the height to 40. 
40 by 40. And like I said, do that for all of the actors, a 45 by 40 rectangle. Okay. Now let's click and drag our enemy one over to the top right, enemy two to the top left, enemy three to the bottom left, and enemy four to the bottom right, or however you made your, <coughs> made your enemies. Uh, this is how I made them. So you, you made it counterclockwise, so I knew how to do it. But anyway, um, now let's just preview how, how this works. So now you have the blocks moving in random directions, and when they hit the block, when they hit the wall, they are bouncing around. And you, now we have to create the person that dodges everything. So let's go back. Person, and of course, you know, uh, if this isn't random enough for you, you can actually go into the enemy and say, when the uh, when it hits with the outer wall top or something, to say random random between whatever you want so 320 comma 330 but yeah i'm just going to keep it at 320 right now i mean at 220 degrees right now okay now let's go into our main person set the size to a 20 by um, actually make this a 30 by 30 rectangle now we need to drag a rule that says when the actor is touched inside we want to add a constrain attribute so constrain attribute game game i'm sorry person dot position dot x to devices dot mouse dot position dot x now i'm just going to copy and paste that and instead of self.position.y, say person.position, I'm sorry, instead of self.position.x, say self.position.y, and change it to the game. Dot, I'm sorry, person devices.mouse.position.y. Okay. Now we also want to add a rule that says actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type and we want this to be enemy one now let's click the plus button right over here so we can add uh, when any of this happens so if it collides with enemy one two three or four then it would change it would set the game to game over and change the scene so so when any change instead of all say when any conditions are valid we want to so if the actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type enemy one two three or four then we want to change the scene to say that the game is over or or do whatever you want to the game. But I'm just going to make it so it cha changes the scene just to make it simple. Okay. Now we also want to add another one that says if the actor receives event. And act I'm going to put this in a separate thing so that we're not... We're not... Uh, putting everything inside of this one rule. So now this is going to say if it, if it, inner, if it collides with any of the wall... And this will be the inner wall. So if it overla overlaps or collides with the what the left wall, right wall, top wall, and the bottom wall, or the bottom wall, then the game will also be over. So when any conditions are valid, click the plus button. So when the actor overlaps or collides with the inner wall left, or actor inner wall right, click the plus again that overlaps or collides with actor of type inner wall top and lastly overlaps or collides with actor of type bottom okay then we want to change the scene or do whatever you want to just signify that the game is over okay now we need to go home and we're going to actually add that game over scene so game over. 
And I'm just going to go in here, create a simple actor, drag that in, make it bigger. And this is just going to say game over. So display text, game over. Keep that white. And we're going to change the background color, so set the opacity to zero. Now we're going to go back, go to our initial scene again, double click on our person. Okay, actually, delete the person that we have in the scene and go back to our main person. And this will say go to scene, change scene to game over. And I like to say to go to a specific scene because if you accidentally rearrange anything then it would just mess everything up unless that's what you're going for but this is just to s signify uh, specify exactly what scene to go to and that will never change so now let's preview this and actually go back we need to drag over the person into the center Okay, now he's moving, he overlaps or collides, game over. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys want to know more on how to make this game, be sure to hit that like button down below and I'll be sure to make an extension video on how to do the scoring and other things you guys want. Please put them down in the comment section down below. Um, also, if you guys make a game, please sure to share that in the comment section down below. I love seeing all your work. Anyway, um, if you guys want to know more about me, uh, check me out on Twitter and check out my website. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.